All right, what's going on, traders? What's going on, Sway fam? Today, today, we are going to take a look at the new trading platform that Sway Markets has so graciously given us. And we are going to talk about Sway Charts Pro. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys how to navigate the regular Sway Chart platform. But Sway Markets has went ahead and released Sway Charts Pro. And Sway Charts Pro is for those of you who are professionals, who are traders, who are tech savvy, and you want more out of your trading platform, all right? Sway Charts, the regular version, is for the newbies. It's for those who are beginners. It's for those who are just getting started with trading. But Sway Charts Pro is for those of you guys who are actually been trading for a while and you want more customizations, you want a lot more features, you want a lot more tech, that's what we're going to focus on today. So the very first thing you got to do is you want to go to SwayMarkets.com, all right? So go to SwayMarkets.com, go to the very front of the page, and you're going to scroll down. You're going to scroll down all the way. I know we got a lot of amazing things on this page right here, but scroll down, and you can see here we have the regular Sway chart platform. Now, the Sway Charts, the regular Sway Charts, will be coming to Apple, the, the Apple Store, the App Store for iOS real soon, all right? The time of me making this video, it is not on the Apple App Store yet, but it will be on there very soon. But you can still use the regular Sway Chart platform uh, on any other, on any other uh, software like Android, Windows, Mac, or WebTrader. But we're not here to talk about Sway Charts today. We're here to talk about Sway Charts Pro. So if you want to use Sway Charts Pro, you can actually download this by going to the Android Store or going to Windows, going to Mac, and you can even use this on the Web Trader. So all you have to do is come to any one of these, uh, any one of these icons here and click on those, and you will be able to use Sway Charts Pro. Now, if you have an iPhone and you want to download Sway Charts Pro on your iPhone, you can do so. All you have to do is come right here to Sway Markets, click on Download Now from your iPhone, and you have to actually go here from the Safari browser, all right? So open Safari, and you can come here to download it. You can click here to continue to the app, or you can go to webtrader.swaycharts.io, okay? And what you're going to do is once you have gone onto this site from your Apple or your, your iPhone, you're going to come down here. You're going to click on this little button right here, and you're going to add this to your home screen. So when you add this to your home screen, this is going to create an app-like icon on your iPhone. So it's going to look exactly like this. Now, the reason that we have done it like this is because we don't want to rely on any third party. All right, we don't want to rely on Apple. We don't want to rely on Android. We don't want to rely on any third party to host our trading platforms. So this gives you the ability to go directly to Sway Markets and download Sway Charts Pro directly from Sway Markets. All right. <clears throat> Once you have done that, you can now go ahead and open up your Sway Charts Pro. Now, I have already gone ahead. I am making this video on a desktop. But everything is pretty much the same from your iPhone as well, or even from your Android. Everything is pretty much the exact same, all right? So once you have gone here to Sway Charts Pro, and first and foremost, guys, make sure you have an account with Sway Markets before you go ahead and try to log in. Because if you don't have a trading account with Sway Markets, whether it is a live account or a demo account, you will not be able to log in. So if you have a live account or a demo account, or when you have a live account or a demo account, you are going to get your login credentials to your email. So go ahead and put in your login credentials and you will be able to log in. And after you log in, you will be able to change your login credentials. Now, if you want to learn how to do that, please go and watch my video that I made for Sway Chart, the regular version. But in this video, we're just gonna go ahead and go through all of the features and show you guys how to navigate the Sway Charts Pro platform. So in order to access Sway Charts Pro from your desktop, 
you want to go to webtrader.swaycharts.io. This is going to allow you to log into your Sway Charts from your desktop. On your Apple iPhone, you can just go ahead to uh, the app that you have created on your home screen, click on that, and you're going to be able to come right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to log in real quick. And the very first thing you're going to notice when you log in is all of your accounts that you have on Sway Markets is going to show right here. All right. So as you can see here, I have three live accounts open and I have a demo account. I'm going to go ahead and log into my demo account so I can make as many mistakes on this platform as possible and it will not hurt any of my real funds. But I'm going to go ahead for the sake of this video, log into my demo account. And what I like best, I mean, I like a lot of things about Sway Chart Pro. But one of the things that I really like the most is that I can make this, uh, I can give my account a name. So I can call this <clears throat> Sway Charts Pro Tutorial. And you can even add in your own passcode for future login. I like this option as well because let's say, for example, you're in a relationship and your, your spouse is mad at you. And if your spouse decides to log into your trading account and blow your account because they're mad at you, they can't because you have a passcode already set. So if you want to add in a passcode, you can do so. It'll protect your account, all right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to log in real quick. And we're going to go right into the Sway Charts Pro platform. All right. So when you first open up your platform, it's going to look something like this on your desktop, okay? So down here is where all of your trades that you have opened is going to show. So let me go ahead and just place a trade real quick. You can see I just took a buy on EURUSD and automatically it showed down here. Now, if for any reason you want to get rid of this down here, all you have to do is come right over here. And you can see as I hover, there is a little icon that pops up on my cursor. I can just click on that and I can drag it down. So this allows me to increase the size of my chart. And if I want to bring it back up, I can just bring it back up or I can even make it full screen if I want. Okay. So it's completely up to you how you want to do it. <clears throat> you can even open it up in a new window or full screen simply by clicking on the three dashes right here on the bottom right hand side. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put it all the way down so I can show you guys everything else. And on the left hand side, this is pretty much your, your market watch list. Okay. So as you can see here, there's a couple of pairs here that you can go and you can trade and you can one click trade any of these. If I want to place a sell on GBP USD, I can just cl come right here, click on this. It'll open up my order screen and I can go ahead and put in the lot that I want to use. I can go ahead and change everything. Like for example, this right here is the simple screen. So here you can put in your lot size, your stop loss, and your take profit. Or you can make this a full screen and it'll show you a lot more options. So in volume, uh, if you want to do it in lots, dollar per point, percent of equity, percent of balance, however you want to customize it, you can do it. If you want to do any limit orders or pending orders, you can come right here and you can put in, click on limit or you can click on stop. And then you can put in your buy stop or your sell stop or your buy limit or your sell limit completely up to you on what you want to do. So this right here. Now, when you go to the stop loss, there is a lot of features that you can do with the stop loss. So if I click here, I can put my stop loss in terms of pips. So if I just want to have a stop loss of 20 pips, I can do so. If I want to have a stop loss of 50 pips, I can do so. So your stop loss, you can customize it in terms of pips. You can customize it in terms of price, like how we are used to. So if I want to put a price, you can do so. You can do percent of equity. You can do percent of balance. Now, equity and balance is different because equity takes into account your current open trades. So if you're in drawdown or you're in profit, you can you can make your, your trading decision based on the percent of equity. Or you can do based off of balance. So balance is pretty much how much money you have in your account that does not factor in your open trades, whether it's in drawdown or in profit. You have cash risk. So if I say I just want to risk $100 on this trade, I can put that in. 
and my stop loss will be placed where I only lose $100 based off of my lot size. If I want to do bar high or bar low, you can do that, all right? So there's a lot of different ways you can customize the stop loss. And for the take profit, same thing, but in take profit, you actually have the risk to reward ratio. So the risk to reward ratio allows you to place your take profit based off of a one to one, a one to three, a one to five, one to 10, however you want to do so. But in order for you to use the risk to reward ratio, you must set a stop loss first. Because if you don't have a stop loss, the computer does not know how to calculate the risk to reward because you have not set a risk beforehand. All right, I hope that made sense. Now we're gonna go ahead and close this. And we're gonna take a look at everything else that Sway Charge Pro has to offer. So right up here, you can see your profit and loss. You can see your balance. You can see your margin level percent that is currently being used or is available actually. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna go ahead and the same thing here guys, you can make the, the market watch list a new window or full screen. I'm gonna go ahead and move the watch list to the side. All right, so now we have the Sway Charts Pro platform with the chart of Euro USD showing right here. Now this right here on the side, this is an order ladder. Me personally, I'm not 100% sure what exactly this right here does. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove this from my screen. So in order to do so, you wanna come right over here to where you have this little wrench icon, this little settings icon. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna go to where it says show. And here where it says show, I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck show order ladder and boom, it is gone, all right? Now in show, there's a lot of other things. You could show the hover bar. You could show the hover bar right here is this right here, guys. So if I hover over a candle, it's gonna show me the high and low price, the close price, the open price, um, everything. The, the date, the time, everything for this particular candle right here. All right, it's gonna show everything. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna leave that there actually. Show navigation. So navigation are these buttons right down here. So these buttons right down here is gonna allow you to move your charts without you having to click on the, the screen itself, okay? So you can have, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you have the navigation icons right here. And if you don't wanna see that, you just go ahead and uncheck it and it'll be gone. I like having it there, so I'm gonna leave it there. The scroll bar, show scroll bar. So if you're scrolling, the scroll bar showed you where in the previous chart history you are currently looking at. So I think this is a very cool feature that Sway Charge Pro has. It definitely makes it a lot simple for a lot of people to use. I'm gonna go ahead and just uncheck it for the sake of the video. Show trade marker, all right? So trade marker is when you place a trade, you can see here that you can see the, the, the trade marker of the trade that you have placed. So here you can see everything about my, my trade, my lot size, how much in profit or in drawdown I am in, and it showed you the price and it showed you the pips. So you can see everything right here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna uncheck it just to make the chart a little bit more clear. And then you have the one click panel. So the one click panel is this right here. So if you wanna just place a trade real quick without you having to go in and set your stop loss, take profit, all of that, you can do so. I'm gonna go ahead and just unclick this, all right? Now the next thing we wanna do is right now you can see here that I am on Euro USD. I am on the hour one time frame, so you can see this very evidently right here. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to settings, and in settings, here you can actually customize and design how you want your chart to look. Now, there are a lot of options here. I'm not gonna go through everything. So you can play around with this and you can figure everything out yourself, but I'm just gonna give you uh, what I like to use. So I like to have a white background, but you can have the background however you want. You can make it red, blue, green, yellow, whatever you wanna do, it's up to you, all right? We give you all the options in your hands. So you can design this however you want, all right? I like to have a white background. I want my text to be completely black. So the text is like the, the numbers on the side is the text, all right? So I have made the, the text completely black. And you can even change the font 
if you want. I know some people have asked me about the font. You can change the font to whatever you want. I'm going to leave it how it is. Grid lines, I don't like having grids on my chart. If you do, you can customize it however you want. I'm going to just make it white so it blends in with my chart background. And I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. And then if I go to scales, all right, so the scales, you can change it however you want. So the scales are all the things on the, on the side over here. So you can make that however you want, okay? You can design it. And then I go to chart. And for chart, for my bullish candles or my candles that are going up, I'm going to make it dark blue. I don't like the light blue. I'm going to make it dark blue. For the wick, I'm going to make it dark blue. For the down candles, the bearish candles, I'm going to make it dark red. For the bearish wicks, I'm going to make it dark red. And let's see here. What else? You can customize whatever you want. All right. Crosshairs, indicators, current price. So the current price, if you don't want to see where the, the price line is, you can uncheck this, make it no. But I like having it open. It showed you where the current price is, this right here. So this line that's moving showed you the current price. And you can see here that it also showed you the time until candle close. All right, right here, right below the price. Now here, show time remaining, yes and no. It's already there. Components. And then watermark, all right? So if you don't want to see uh, the, the name of the currency pair you are on, on the back of your screen, you can go ahead and check this no. If you want to leave it open, you can check it yes. And then you can even change the color and the font of it. You can even add in your own image watermark. And then I'm just going to click apply. I'm going to click save. And boom. Now you can see how my chart looks completely different. It looks a lot more amazing, all right? Now, the next thing we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about this right here. So I think something that Sway Charts has that's really cool and unique is the fact that you can link your pairs, your currency pairs, or whatever instrument you are trading to a specific color. So if I link Euro USD to this little, I think this is like pink. So anytime I want to go on Euro USD, I can just go and click on this and it'll take me to Euro USD. Now, let's say I go to the green. And you can click on this right here. If you double click it, you can go here and you can select what instruments you want to navigate to. So I'm just going to go ahead and select USD JPY. So now you can see here that green is linked to USD JPY. So instead of me having to come up here and constantly choose what pair I want to go to, I can easily click on the color, click on pink. Now I'm back on Euro USD. And you can set this up for every color you want, all right? Same thing for the time frame. If you want to navigate quickly between different time frames, you can link it to different colors. So if I go to pink, it's hour one. Green is going to be, uh, I'll make it to hour four. I can make blue daily. So if I want to navigate between my time frames very fast, I can just go over here and choose the different color and boom, it's there, all right? Now, if you want, let's say you have scrolled and you want to bring your chart back to where the current price is, all you have to do is come right down here to the axis, this little scale down here with all the date and the time and double click that and boom, you are now in the current price. So you can see here that the current price is right here and this shows you the entire chart and you can just zoom in and you are right here where the current price is. Okay. So this right here kind of showed you the quick layout. You can add in your indicators right here like this. You can go in and add indicator and then you can choose whatever indicator you want to add. So if I want to add a moving average, I just go right here and I put in whatever moving average I want to add in and you can customize this however you want. So you can add in different indicators here. You can even play around with this and you can see the indicators in use, indicator studies, advanced options. All right, there's a lot of things you can do with Sway Charts Pro, guys. I'm very excited about this. It's amazing. You can even draw on this and you can draw whatever you want. If I want to add in a Fibonacci, I can go here and put in Fibonacci retracement. And let's say I want to draw out my Fibonacci from here to here. I can go right here and I can add that in. Boom. And if I double click on the Fibonacci corner right here where the little black uh, circle is. If I double click on it, you can go ahead and you can customize this however you want. 
all right? Very amazing. You can add in whatever other feature you want to add in as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to uh, right click on it and I'm just going to delete this. And <clears throat> this right here allows you to create your chart preset. So let's say I have created my chart like this for Euro USD, right? I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to chart go to chart temp template in settings. And I'm just going to save this and I'm going to save it as default. And I'm going to click this, I'm going to click save, boom. And if I go to another instrument, I can just go right up here, go to chart template and click on default. And it's going to open up the, the template I just had. And I think I just did something wrong because it came up a little wrong. Let me go to list. Okay, yeah, so I messed up with this. I got to I gotta figure this out. Uh, my bad. But you can see here that you can save your, your chart template. I kind of did it wrong. I got to go back and see what I did wrong. But hopefully you guys understood what I was trying to show you. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> All right. So here, the cursor type, you can change whatever cursor type you want to have. You can make it crosshairs, markers, move, measure, order. So there's a lot of different cursor types that you can have. And I... And, Forgive me if I'm going a little fast because there's a lot of things I want to cover with this video and I don't want to take up too much of your time. So that's why I'm kind of going through this a little bit fast, all right? If you go to price style, you can make it candles, uh, which is what pretty much everybody uses. But if you want to go and do something like, let's say, a Renko, for example, you can have a Renko chart. And you can see here that the Renko chart is right here. Now, I'm not going to go into what a Renko chart is. You can do your own research. But there is a lot of different options on different types of chart type that you can have. All right. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at <clears throat> our different options. So Sway Charts Pro has a lot of features. So if you go right up here to the top left corner and you click on the three dashes, it's going to open up something that looks like this. Now, if you click on this right here, this is never going to move. So if I click on the chart, this never goes away. But if I don't have this checked and I have this open and I click on the chart, it's going to go away. All right. So this right here kind of pins this, uh, this little, how do you say this? This little dashboard on the side to the chart. Okay. Now you have the home right here. You have the charts right here. And this is going to open up the chart screen that you see here. You have the quote. So the quotes are going to open up the different types of uh, instruments that you can trade. And you can even do a lot of customizations with this. You have your trades. So here you can see the open trades. And you can even change this how you want to view. So if you want to see it like a grid like this, you can click that. I like to use cards because it just looks cool. So you can have it as a card. And you can even change the color of the card based off of different uh, settings. So based off of different settings, you can change the color of your card somewhere around here. Um, let me see. Yeah, right here. So you can see here, you can change the color of your card based off of profit and loss, long or short. So if I'm long, it's going to show green. And if I'm short, it's going to show a different color. Okay. So you can change this. And there are different things you can do with your, your trades. If you go to account history, it's going to show you all of your account history. Now, this is like this is like a MyFX book in your hands. For those of you guys who are familiar with what a MyFX book is, this is like an in built in MyFX book. So it's going to show you all of your account history. It's going to show you all of the data, all of the, the, the stats for your trading. And I don't have anything on here right now because this is a brand new demo account I created just so I can make this little tutorial for you guys. But for you guys that have been trading for a while, if you go to account history, it's going to show you everything. All right. So I think this is very cool. And let's go here to currency strength. So here it's going to show you all of the strength of all the currencies. So you can use this as, as an added confluence in your trading. And you can mailbox. If, you know, if you ever get any type of uh, notification, it's going to be here in the mailbox. I don't have anything in here yet. And you can even add in different things. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a new page. So here... Me personally, when I trade, I rely on fundamentals a lot, which is the news. So I'm going to go ahead and label this news. And you can see here, it opens up a brand new page with nothing on there. I'm going to double click on it. 
And when I double click on it, it's going to show me all of the different types of features that I can have on this page. So I'm going to go down here to where it says news. And we're going to go through all of this one by one, by the way. And I'm just going to click on the calendar. And here in the calendar, you can see instead of you having to go to uh, Forex Factory like we used to do for a lot of people, you can now see all of the news that is going to be coming out right here in your Sway Charts Pro platform. So you don't have to go to another website to see anything. You can see everything right here and you can choose whatever time zone you want. You can choose the impact. If you only want to see the high impact news, you can see it. If you want to see all the impact news, you can see it. You can see the past and the future or the future only. You can select what currencies you want to see the news for. So here you can customize this in a lot of different ways, guys. I'm very excited about this uh, because I love this. I never have to go to another website ever again in order for me to see my news data. All right. So now let's say, for example, I want to add in something else like a clock. For example, I can click on clock, save. It'll open up a new page. And here, boom, now I know what time it is when I'm trading, all right? So if I'm ever looking to trade and I want to figure out what time it is right now, I can just go right here and it'll show me what time it is, all right? So there's a lot of different pages that you can completely add in here. Now, we're going to go back to our charts. And let me just show you guys all the other features that we have, okay? So let's see here. If you go to settings, by the way, if you go to settings here, you can also add in, uh, you can have your chart be light screen, blue screen, dark screen, however you want. Okay. You can customize the colors for your long, your short, everything right here. When you go to trading, <clears throat> if you click on disable all trading, let's say you're walking away from your platform, you're leaving it open and you don't want no one to come and take your trade on your account. You can click yes, trading disabled, so no one can go and and trade on your account. So let's say you have a you have a son or a daughter who's maybe three years old or four years old, and they like to go on your laptop and click a whole bunch of buttons, just to make sure they don't accidentally place a trade. You can enable disable the trading. All right, and here you can see the the banner deal ticket was traditional trading action. There's a lot of features you can do, guys. So all a lot of this is very self-explanatory. Here you can put confirmation. So if you want to take a trade and you want to confirm it, you can check any one of this and it'll ask you to confirm whether you want to take that action or not. Notifications. All right. You can set notifications display. You can change the grid zoom. You can change everything, how, how uh, things look on your screen, small screen, and then time zone. You can change the time zones um, to whatever you want it to be. So you can do that right there. Okay. Let's go back over here. And here you can see that, let's see, give me one second, guys. Anytime you see the, the Sway Charts Pro icon, if you click like here, you see the icon here and you see the icon here. If you click on the icon, it'll allow you to place a trade. It'll, it'll, it'll open up the trade screen, all right? So that's what the icon is for. The icon is for your trade screen. And I believe we pretty much covered all of the icons on this screen right here. And let's go ahead and look uh, take a look at more of the features that we have. So let me see. Here, if you click on this, you can rearrange how you want your, your pages to look. So if I want to have charts be on top of home, I can move it right there. And if I click save, now you can see here that charts is number one. All right. So you can rearrange this however you want to. And if you click on account, it's going to show all of your other accounts that you have. And you can click on any one of those to go to those very quickly. All right. You don't have to log in again. You're already logged in. You're going to be good. All right. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> let me see here. Let's take a look at all of the other features that Sway Charts Pro has to offer. So I'm going to make this a little big and I'm not going to open up each one of these. I'm, uh, I hope you guys will do that yourself. So here you can set your own alarm. So if you want to have your alarm, you can set it here. And the alarm, you can even get a text message. Now, let me show you guys this, all right? If I go to Alarm Manager, you can add an alarm. And you can set the alarm however you want, whether it's a price level, a price change, bar breakout, whatever. You can set the alarm. And there's different ways you can get the alarm. You can get an email. You can get a text, okay? And you can set all of that up. 
and here let the monetary policy statement oh this is a this is a great one i want to add this alarm all right and here you can see here that this news priority is high only and 10 minutes before the monetary policy statement comes out it's going to send me a, a an alarm all right and this alarm action i'm going to add action it's going to play a sound boom and let's say i go to alarm settings auto reset none normal style plane signal settings and i can even add in the caption i want and let's say i put in the caption make money is news it's gonna give me that caption when it sends me the alarm oops it's news all right so when i get the alarm it's gonna say make money it's news so this way i know to go into my trading platform and place my trade because i just got an alarm that the monetary policy statement was about to come out so you can do this and it's very cool you can set it up to give you an alarm in email, your tech, or your text, whatever you want. <clears throat> Let me see something real quick. Yep, I think we pretty much covered all of this. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at everything else that we have. I'm just going to go ahead and edit this. I'm going to delete this. Yes. Bear with me, guys. It's not easy making a tutorial video. Thank you for your patience. All right. So there's a lot more features that Sway Charts has to offer. There is account history, account metrics, alarms, calendar, clock, uh, calculators. So if you want to figure out any type of calculation that you want to do, Sway Charts has it for you. We have a correlation matrix. So if you want to figure out which two instruments or which two currency pairs correlate or, or doesn't correlate with each other, you can click on this and it'll show you. We have a currency converter. We have a currency strength, heat map, uh, Fibonacci calculator. I mean, there, there's so much. There is so many features that you can click on. And I hope you guys will go ahead and go through all of this. Now, for those of you guys who wants to run your own automated expert advisor, which is your own automated trading bot, or you want to add in your own custom indicator, you can come to run script and you can add in your own script that's, that has to be either JavaScript, Python, or C++ or C Sharp, however you say that. Uh, it has to be in one of those coding languages. And you can come right here and you can run your own automated trading bot or your own indicator that you have built yourself. If you want to build your own automated bot or your own uh, indicator, you can go to script and you can create your own. So in the trading uh, Sway Charts Pro platform itself, you can create your own trading custom indicator or automated bot. And there's a lot more things that you can do with this. There's, there's so many cool features, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this tutorial. I hope this video made sense to you guys. I know this was a lot of information. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Share this with somebody else who wants to learn how to use Sway Charts Pro. And you're going to be able to not only help yourself, but also help them out. And I wish you guys a lot of fortune and success in your trading. Stay blessed and take care.